So many of you have said in my comment section that the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds is really nothing but a repackaged Elite 7 Pro with an included Link 380 Bluetooth dongle. To make things even more confusing, this Bluetooth dongle will even work with an actual Elite 7 Pro. In fact, it seems to work with any wireless earbuds even from other brands because I even got it to pair with a Sony WF-1000XM4. So what's the point then? Why don't we just buy the Bluetooth dongle separately since Jabra is also selling this as a standalone SKU? After testing the Evolve 2 Buds performance with and without the dongle, this could actually be better value after all, despite being $70 more than the price of its almost twin, the Elite 7 Pro. I'm going to tell you why, and also some problems I've encountered with the Evolve 2 Buds. We're also going to talk about its sound, its call quality, and noise cancelling performance. So put on your earbuds because we're going to listen to some binaural sound samples. I've split this video into chapters so it's easier to navigate, and if you don't want to miss out on more videos, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. The Link 380 has a feature called HD Voice, which applies Jabra's own algorithms to the incoming signal, instead of simply leaving it to your PC. Same goes with the Bluetooth connectivity, it takes over from your PC's internal Bluetooth receiver, so it doesn't matter whether your PC is new or old, you're going to get the Bluetooth 5 connectivity right away, which ensures higher quality signal and higher quality range. But actually testing it with and without the dongle on both Microsoft Teams and Zoom, there was only a very marginal difference, and not exactly an improvement either. Have a look. I'm now recording this on Microsoft Teams using the Jabra Evolve 2 earbuds. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm now on Microsoft Teams call with the Jabra Evolve 2 buds without the Link 380 Bluetooth dongle. Let me know guys in the comments if I sound just as good or not as good as with the Link 380. Okay, so this is what I sound like on Zoom. This is the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm now on a Zoom call with the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds without the Link 380 Bluetooth dongle. I hope I sound just as good as with the Link 380, but if not, tell me in the comments. Of course, it could be that I'm using a relatively capable and recent PC that does support Bluetooth 5, a Razer Blade 15 2020, so your mileage could vary depending on the make, but what the dongle does provide is consistency regardless of that. And the fact that Jabra is charging a mouth-watering $118 for this tiny Bluetooth dongle means that paying $70 more for the Evolve 2 Buds compared to the Elite 7 Pro might actually make more sense for working professionals. Professionals who both work in the office and at home and need a more consistent hands-free mic quality regardless of what PC they happen to be using. You can even optimize your experience with the Jabra Direct app, whether it be the call experience, the sound quality, the controls, or the noise cancelling. Or if you're connected to your phone, you can also customize your experience using the standard Jabra Sound Plus app, which also provides noise cancelling toggles and various other ways to calibrate the earbuds further. For example, using My Sound, which tunes the earbuds' sound quality to the sensitivity of your ears. It also supports multi-point pairing, so while you're connected to the PC, you can continue to take calls on your phone. Or perhaps if you're not connected to the PC, maybe you're connected to two phones at once, for those of you who have separate phones for work and personal lives. And that begs the question, how is its call quality really like on your phone compared to the regular Elite 7 Pro? Right now, I'm going to test that in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe-style background noise and some wind noise coming from this fan. 
I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Jabra Elite 7 Pro. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Z7 Pro. So I'm just editing this video and I discovered that the Elite 7 Pro actually cancels a bit more background noise during phone calls compared to the Evolve 2 Buds. And this is when it's connected to my phone over Bluetooth. It's not a lot of difference, but I guess working professionals, if you're going to make phone calls in noisy places, you will sound a little quieter with the Elite 7 Pro compared to the Evolve 2 Buds. Back to the video. As for their call quality compared to other earbuds, both the Evolve 2 Buds and the Elite 7 Pro were quite competitive in quiet conditions. Quite good, in fact. But in noisy conditions, you can tell that they both were struggling to cut that background noise out. So they wouldn't be the most ideal choices in terms of making phone calls in noisy places. If you want to know what the best earbuds are for making calls in noisy places, watch this video over here, link in the description. So does the dongle make any difference at all to the Evolve 2 Buds sound quality? After running my frequency sweeps, it seems that there is practically no difference. It is only right up to the treble frequencies when we are starting to see a slight variation. But in a practical sense, the difference is so small that most people won't be able to hear the difference at all. In terms of sound quality, the Evolve 2 Buds does sound good in the sense that it's got a smooth non-fatiguing mid-range, so you can put any vocals track on it and it will not sound shrill or too shouty. If you're a bass head and you're hoping to get more thump and gravity in those bass drops, this is not going to do exactly that. It has a flatter response in the low frequencies, so bass is gonna sound tight, but there's very little extension or gravity. Some other things I do like about its sound is its clean track separation and sound staging. It can sound quite airy and spacious when listening to R&B, bossa nova, or chamber music. And if you compare the Evolve 2 Buds to the Elite 7 Pro, it does have more air and bite in the treble. Have a listen to the following sound samples and let me know if you can hear any difference. If you want to listen and compare the Evolve 2 Buds sound quality yourself, or maybe compare them to other earbuds, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. In terms of active noise cancelling, to be honest, it's not going to be comparable to the likes of the AirPods Pro 2 or Bose QC2 earbuds. In fact, its noise cancelling is so weak that you can barely notice it working at all. Here's how it compares to the Elite 7 Pro when tested under the same noisy conditions used in the call quality test. At least with the Elite 7 Pro, you still can feel a difference, but the Evolve 2 Buds made no difference at all between noise cancelling and 
no noise cancelling, which is quite horrible to be honest. By the way guys, if you want to compare their noise cancelling and call quality with other earbuds, become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Now, many people have joined up, especially people who can't just simply walk into a store to compare earbuds. They know that it's going to save them so much time and money being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely. So become a member like them. Click on the link below to find out more. Overall, I did enjoy using the Evolve 2 Buds with this Bluetooth dongle that costs a lot more than what they're charging for in the Evolve 2 Buds package. It seems pretty great value for the working professional, someone who's dealing with multiple PCs on a single day. Now, my experience using the Evolve 2 Buds for about a week was rather seamless. I mean, it sounds good, has decent battery, and I liked being able to quickly get into a multi-point connection with a PC just by plugging in this dongle. No need to search and pair, just plug and play, right? That being said, its active noise cancelling is almost negligible. Even when I tried to tweak it in the app, it simply produced more white noise masking, which does nothing to cancel low frequencies. Also, and I'm saying this having used this for a little longer, I get that having the dongle is convenient, but very rarely I did run into some technical issues like not getting stereo, stuttering audio, but this is something that I could always fix, sometimes by replugging the dongle back into the computer, sometimes by putting the buds back into the case. It's been overall pretty seamless using this product, but to be honest, I was expecting it to be more seamless. Anyway, these are the Evolve 2 buds. I can see the rationale behind it, but at this price, it's just not that compelling to me as a whole. But what do you think? Leave your comments below. And if you don't want to miss out on more reviews like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Thanks for watching. Smash like and share if you like this video. I'm also on Discord. So if you have Discord, come and join the chat. Link is in the description. I've also made a video about my dream desk setup for 2023. If that's the kind of content that you're interested in, click on this video over here.